everyone, and welcome to playoff football in December. It's the Bison pregame show as we get set for a second round game between North Dakota State and South Dakota State. It is a full house here today, along with Jeff Kolpak and the famous Eric Peterson slash Ole Anderson. We're also joined by Terry Vanderek from the Sioux Falls Argus Leader. Playoff football for the second time in four weeks. Jeffrey, the Bison and the Jacks set to go at it. The winner gets a spot in the Elite Eight. Is this December? It feels like October. <laughs> it feels like homecoming almost. Yeah, this is a great rematch. I mean, you can talk about the seedings all you want, but uh, it doesn't get any better this if you're a Bison fan. E, we saw this game just a few weeks ago. The Bison held Zach Zenner to 41 yards. How in the world do they do that again here today? I think they do what they've done all year. You just be sound up front. They've got a good uh, rotation in the defensive line, even without Levon Perry. Their linebackers with Grant Olson, Travis Beck, right. Carlton Little, John have been great all year. It's a front seven game again for them. Terry, the first matchup here, the Jacks, John, John Stiglmeyer said after the game, they were two penalties away from maybe smiling and walking away for a victory. How big is the mental errors they have to eliminate here today? Well, for starters, you guys really stepped up the prop game, bringing the helicopter. That's <laughs> impressive. That's it's Colpac's No chariot. offense to the nickel, Colpac, but that's, that's nice. Um, yeah, you know, I, I think it helps that you look at last week's game, uh, their first round game against Eastern Illinois, they scored 58 points. All of those were scored by underclassmen. In other words, none of those kids had ever played in this building before. And, and uh, you know, we know how good the atmosphere is and that it gets to people. So I think you look at some of those unforced errors, that wasn't, you know, a case where they got out schemed. It was where they had an extra guy in the huddle. And um, so I think they feel good about that part for starters. And they hope beyond that they can make some adjustments to create at least a little more than, than 209 yards. We're hearing a crowd of 19,000 today. That defense will obviously feed off of that. One of the big guys out of the lineup is Levon Perry. Who do you imagine stepping up for him today? Well, I think Justin Juckham. You know, this guy was highly recruited coming in. He's had knee problems for most of his career. He's a junior, but I don't know if he's coming back. I don't think he knows if he's coming back. So I'm thinking this is it for him. I mean, I think he'll throw it all on there. He's big enough. He's fast enough. Um, I think you're going to see uh, uh, Justin Juckham coming to the forefront. In the last Bison game, they had two guys go over 100 yards, both Sam Jury and John Crockett, who looked the most healthy as looked since probably Youngstown State way back in early October. Yeah, they had great games against Illinois State. The last time they played South Dakota State, I just didn't think John Crockett had the zip he had against Illinois State. You couple that with the bye week, I maybe see that Bison running game having a bigger day than they did last time, and that could be the key to prevent some of those high-risk throws. And if they don't turn the ball over, I think that puts them in a very good spot. Terry, you were talking with the Jacks all week. How much is revenge on their mind, just the fact that they thought they could have won this game the first time around? I, I don't think that's a revenge thing. I think had, had that been against uh, Illinois State and they were playing them again, it's yeah. just that they felt like they had a chance to get a quality win and didn't do it. And, and you know, again, it just – not even in football, but in life. How many times do we make a mistake <laughs> and be like, man, I wish I could do that over? Well, they're getting a chance to do it over. So, you know, if you roll with that, if you win, it's a big deal. And if you don't, you got beat by the better team twice, and they, they proved it. So it's a, it's a unique situation. I wish I could do the FCS pick them over again after I lost by 10 yes, games. So let's do our Saturday selections. I'll lead off with you since you're the star of the show. Everybody came to see here to see who you picked today. So go ahead and tell me who you got for today's Bison Jack game. Like the Dakota marker, the last time we called this game was for the Damn I Am Good Championship. <laughs> Terry, unveil that. <laughs> Bison video blog bylaws state that's only a regular season crowd. Since we're in the playoffs, so we got something better. Uh, oh Terry, wait. here we go. Again, the mic. Uh -oh. Oh, you yeah, you love the strip. Yeah. This is for the Damn I Am Damn Good Championship. <laughs> Since it's the damn playoffs, two dams are involved. We got yellow, we got Bison green, we got Jacks, royal blue, Bison 24, Jacks 17. Yeah! <laughs> he never ceases to disappoint. Terry, you're up next. I don't know how you follow that. Oh, that was not as good as the helicopter, though. So I'm sorry. It wasn't. Sorry, man. Yeah, I, I actually think this one will be slightly higher scoring than the last. I think both offenses did not have their best day. I think they both looked better in their, their recent games. Um, I, I'm thinking more in the 27-24 range instead of 2017. But again, you know, NDSU with the reason is the favorite. And uh, we'll see if the Jacks can get Zach Zenner going. Um, if Austin Sumner becomes a little more of a playmaker maybe instead of a game manager this week and, and, and uh, 
how their defense adjusts to what NDSU will do slightly differently. It's going to be a great atmosphere. You mentioned it earlier on the, on the paper today. They're 6-0 in the gold jerseys. They have not lost a playoff game. I think the offense will do just enough. I have NDSU winning 24-23. to The other star of the show, After I don't know how you follow that up here with pulling out a, a gold and blue shirt. What do you got today? Well, really disappointed the uh, Dakota marker is not up for grabs, speaking of bylaws. Yes. I mean, why not play for the Rock? Did Ollie Frazier play for nothing That's when they true. fought again? So, we're playing for something. We're playing for the Rock. <laughs> the Rock E. Hager Trophy. <laughs> All-time winningest coach in NDSU history, 10-1 versus the Jacks. I look for NDSU to use its Rock E. Hager 21-20. Well, there you go. There you have it, folks. It should be a great game today. Our live blog begins in about a half an hour. The game can be seen on ESPN3 and ESPN Game Plan, so make the live blog your home as well. Terry will be blogging as well on the Sioux Falls Argus Leader website. And then we'll be back post-game with complete highlights and reaction to break down this game. Enjoy the game, everybody.